like if this doesn't go the way i want it to go if it goes south how am i going to prepare out and how do i chest it because you know like i said in that my movie i was I was so I was I was uh, guys I was I was a shadow of myself. I cried for weeks. I was I was depressed for the longest time. And hey guys, welcome back to my new. <laughs> Just few days of not making a video, like taking Christmas break. I mean, a New Year break. I'm not talking nonsense. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Gusty Chibik. I'm a YouTube user in Lagos, Nigeria, and I do everything you're seeing on my channel. So yes, um, happy new year. This is my first video in 2023. Whoop, whoop, we made it. Happy New Year, guys. Thank you so much for sticking by me all through last year. So yeah, we're doing vlogmas. That ended well. <laughs> I want to say so, I don't know. So yes, um, Normally, if you're new to my channel, I actually used to post on Sunday. Sundays I do living in Lagos as a 30 year old, single 30 year old. Um, I post that video on Sundays as a vlog. Then on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I do a sit down video. So, yeah, today is Tuesday. Okay, this video will be going live on Tuesday. I'm not filming this video today. <laughs> and yes, I'm starting with my first video of the year. Yeah, don't look at it. I know the caption says, um, hoping for the best but expecting the worst and um i get my comma my, i'm trying to be negative i'm trying to like you know come off my negative side but hear me out that's not true um i think this quote is from forever young hoping for the best but expecting the worst are you gonna drop the bomb on that but that was not even where i picked it from um i love the song um a few years ago maybe like three or four years ago i can't remember to be specific I remember the specific year my brother i shot my first solo produced movie like i used to produce with people like like we had um, like a group of people it used to be like three produced together and then one day i'm like i can do this on my own and you know i shot my first solo produced movie like producer executive producer yeah me and you know i was having issues with um selling like every media house needed to reject it such one which i wasn't okay with the offer so it was really um a difficult time in my life like i broke down you guys like i would say i was depressed i broke down for the longest time my brother called me one day and he said in life we always have to hope for the best but expect the worst and i'm like why would i want to hope for the best and still expect the worst that means i'm still expecting bad thing to happen even though i'm praying and hoping for something good to happen and it was like it's not like you are Nepal. Nepal will do what they know how to do best. And yeah, he was like, it's not like you are expecting the worst in a bad way. It's just to prepare yourself. Like, you know how I would say, I have a plan B, I have a plan, I have a plan A, plan B, plan B, plan A to plan Z. Some people would even tell you they have plan A to plan Z. Like, if this one doesn't work, this will work. If this doesn't work, this will work kind of thing. So, yeah, this will work kind of thing. So, yeah, when you are, I'm hoping for the best. And expecting the worst so when something bad happens when like you know how you've planned i'm doing this i'm doing that and there's a setback a disappointment it's not going to hit you so hard because you you're like oh this can happen this can actually happen and when this happens what is my next line of action it makes you be prepared like you're ready for the worst case scenario like if if this should happen how am i going to deal with this like as bad as it bad how am I going to handle this particular situation if it doesn't go the way I want it to go? If, like, if this doesn't go the way I want it to go, if it goes south, how am I going to prepare out and how do I chest it? Because you know, like I said in that my movie, I was, I was so, I was, I was, uh, guys, I was, I was a shadow of myself. I cried for weeks. I was, I was depressed for the longest time. And then I had to like wake up by myself after I spoke with him and most of my, some of my friends. I'm like, okay, what am I going to do this? And you know, a friend of mine told me. Out of the people that rejected you, which one do you think you, as much as which one do you really want to sell your film to? And I'm like, this is this like I picked the one. And he said, reach out to them. Tell them that you know what you did. Like pitch yourself. Go back and you know push. And I went back and I pushed and they bought it and it was it went very well. It was like I even 
it was like a blessing in disguise i made connection i made friends you know that i wouldn't have made if it had if it had gone smoothly like you know and my next film was easy like some people they already had friends there and all that so yeah it became like a blessing in disguise but if um it became like a blessing in disguise at the end of the day like let's look at it by step the story and it did not end that the story ended well <laughs> it ended well but yeah back to what i was saying you if i had actually you know prepared myself what if this thing you know how sometimes you've mapped you've crossed your t's you've dotted your eyes you are so sure like i am so sure that this is going to go well because i've done my homework like i've done my research in fact i have done 100 i've gone to even look at their past work and i, I did better like i'm close to being the best and you know you are so sure of yourself but life can happen it will not even happen the way you think it's going to happen so no matter how prepared we think we are we can receive a like my go for a job interview and you like you know you're overqualified for this job and you don't even get the job so first of all it hits you like there's that <laughs> it takes you back to zero feeling all bad feeling god why me why not me why is my life like this why my life that way like it just takes you back to feeling very sad but yeah when i say hoping for the best and expecting the worst is have a plan A to plan Z, like, you know, and be ready to chest bad news. Like, don't let it give you anxiety, don't let it give you depression. Be ready to chest bad news, no matter how much they keep coming. I told you, every media, like, I submitted my movie to, like, four media houses, and I was getting no, 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 no. Like, rejection mails kept flying, and I, I'm thinking of how much I've spent in producing this movie, the time I've spent, like, you know, everything was just, like, my life was close over, practically. Like, so, um, you know, it can be that way that you keep getting no, 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 no. Life keeps throwing those bars. Like, before you're trying to get up, another goes, another bars. And sometimes the fact that we had we, we planned things, we've, you've made plans, you've made, I have this in mind. Like, wait, this is a new year. Most of us have done new year resolutions. And you're not just making it for making sake. You have the things, you've set your goals, and you've set ways to achieve those goals. Like, you've, You've researched, you've done your work, you are working so hard, you're putting your all your possible effort into meeting those goals, and then shit will not happen. Life can fuck you up, like life can fucking mess you up. No matter how positive we want to be, bad things still do happen to good people. Bad things happen to the best of us. I'm telling you. So that does not mean that you say, Oh, don't be you have to be positive, don't think about bad things, think about only good things. I like to be realistic. I'm a very realistic person, not to be real. I like to be very realistic and be realist. So I tell myself, it can happen. Like, others know how we will say somebody was killed or no government will say, God forbid, it's not a portion. Trust me, that person actually left their house and prayed that it might not be their portion. They prayed God forbid. They also said God forbid to one person's post they saw some months back. So yeah, bad things happen in life. It's standard. Disappointments happen. Setbacks happen. You guys, in case you're hearing any noise, any external noise, um, there is one construction happening in the next door, so they might be making noise and stopping. Forgive that. So yes, like I was saying, um, life can happen, bad things can happen to good people. So it's not about how you plan, it's not about how you are very sure, it's not about how much you pray, it's not, these things happen. So while we are praying and while we are trying to hope for the very best, we're preparing ourselves for the very best, prepare yourself for those bars. So when it hits you, you will not be like me that I entered serious depression before I went back to my board and, you know, succeeded. Maybe I wouldn't have even had to like cry all that cry or kill myself or, you know, try to be, um, stab myself and whatnot before achieving the goal. Maybe I, I should have just, um, if I had planned for failure, or I, I mean, make room for in case it happened, I would have, you know, known that in case this thing happened, what would I do? I'll go back to them and tell them I would have been you know, it'd have been like the next move. My next move wouldn't have been depression, sadness, crying. My next move would have been this is it. I have to go back and tell them I know what I did. Please watch my movie again. Please rate me again. You know, I would have, that would have been my next move if I had expected that something bad can actually happen and it may not go the exact way I hoped it would go because I had done everything I feel will make these people buy this film so yeah that is what i'm trying to say generally even when i come to you know how my channel is more it's not just about relationships it's not just about vlogs because last year we have vlogging more i do relationship and personal um growth like improvement and you know how i talk about these things and it reminds me that 
like I'm learning from what I say. That's the funny thing. Or you remind me that you too may be going through stuff and you've forgotten that you have to plan for the worst, you have to plan for plan B. If this doesn't happen, what next? What next? To keep picking yourself up and keep pushing and keep driving and keep, you know, steady on the move. This did not happen. Let's not do anything. Let's not be sad. Let's not waste our time and be sad for this. Pick up and you know, you're, it's okay for you to take a take a break. Think about your life, cry, you know, re-strategize and, you know, but not the one that I would say for like two weeks, you are crying and you are dwelling in, I failed, I failed, I failed. That's because all your mind did not plan that you would fail, so it will hit you so bad that before you will stand up, you've spent days trying to recover from the fact that this actually happened to you. But when you've lived your life like it can happen, when it finally happens, you will feel bad. No, don't get me wrong, we're humans, you will feel bad, but you will get up faster. That you would have gotten up if you did not expect something bad to happen so yes we have to pray we have to work hard we have to go for the best but at the same time let's create room for what if it doesn't go the way we want it to go what next i hope <laughs> i've been able to like you know convince you that i'm not here to bring negativity <laughs> anyway guys that's all for today's video thank you very much for watching if you're here to subscribe to my channel click on that subscribe button subscribe comment like share I'll be seeing you in my next video. Love you. Bye, guys.